24 Sports, first and nine. Brought to you by the law office of Domingo Garcia. Oh, I like talking about two-a-days because I remember back in high school how folks wouldn't work oh, out yeah. the entire summer. Then this started and they were dying. It's definitely a reality check it for is. sure. And it's going to be a reality check. District 7-1A for six men. A very tough district. Features Rankin, Balmeray, Fort Davis, and Marfa, some of the teams in the mountain areas trying to make their claim at the playoffs this season. We'll start with the Fort Davis Indians. Team went one and two in district play last year. Fort Davis lost quite a bit in terms of size last season, but head coach Curtis Pittman says he hopes his team can make up for that with speed. He also says his larger senior class will bring some much needed leadership. Only three players on the team are not seniors or freshmen. I think we've got a lot of leadership out of those guys, guys that have seen lots of playing time since they were freshmen, sophomore, and junior. Um, they're a good group of leaders. Uh, they've got a great attitude, and I think they're going to help bring those freshmen up. And we'll have a look at the slate for Fort Davis. You see they started off with El Paso Emanuel, and then... Toward the end of the season, second half, Grand Falls Royalty, that's going to be a tough game. And then that district slate, as we mentioned, loaded with Rankin, Balmeray on the road, and then Marfa at home.